Hey guys, welcome to our continuing coverage of 2015's NAB show here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm John P. I'm Giovanni. We've got excitements galore. It is, the, the time's going pretty, pretty fast here so far. It is, it's gonna go even faster now that we've got Peter here from BBS Lighting. How are you, sir? Very good, thank you. We're glad to have you on the show. Thanks. Yeah, uh, glad how's, to be here. How's the, uh, how's the show been going for you guys so far? It's been going really well. It's been uh, one of the best show ever, best shows ever we had here, really. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's been fantastic, yeah. How that's many shows have you been at an NMB show? I'm here for the eighth time. Well, wow. Yeah. Wow, fantastic. That's more yeah. than you, Gio. That's, I've been here half of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. This will be. This is my first. He's just getting broken in. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing anyway, great, though. But you guys actually have some new <laughs> gadgets and toys to to, to uh, release this year. What yeah, what's going yes, on? Yes, we do. Yeah, in the early early June we are releasing a new system. Um, and, you know, we have for years made high quality LED lights. Uh, especially we've been um, playing around a lot and with a remote phosphor technology, uh, with a product called the Area 48 that's been shipping for a couple of years. It's been great. It's all over studios, it's on stands. I mean, it's with Garfus and DOPs, they all use it, and they all like it. Uh, I haven't heard of anyone who didn't like it, so that's so far so good. So we continue to make new products for the industry, um, and the latest development is in remote phosphor technology because we consider that being the most consistent LED technology available in the market today. Well, for so those who aren't familiar, explain a little bit more about what makes it different. The difference is that uh, rather than <coughs> All LED lights, all white LED lights, are blue LEDs with phosphor on top. Mm -hmm. um, the mixes you can create there, it, it, it sort of, it of course gets the LED a bit more hot when the phosphor is on top because that's illuminating from the blue color. So with the remote phosphor technology, um, you have LED, blue LEDs igniting an actual polycarbonate media where you apply the uh, phosphor to that media. Um, in that way, you have a distance from the LED to the actual light source. Less um, heat generation. Less heat generation. More efficiency. Yes, much better color fidelity for that because we, it's, it's possible to make much better mixes uh, and it's going to be much more consistent over time. So it's not going to drop off in, in two years or it's not going to look strange uh, in, in, in half a year. It's, it's going to stay consistent. And that sounds to me also like a more sophisticated manufacturing process, probably a little more costly. It's a bit more costly, yes, but um, it gives a yield, I mean, yep. in that respect. So the latest technology we've been working on is now to introduce the uh, pipe system. This system is called Pipeline. Um, you know, a product has to have a name. Uh, it's been in the pipeline forever, so, well, let's <laughs> get it out go. there. there you go. Now it's out there. So, so this is remote phosphor pipes. Uh, they're going to come in one, two, three, and four foot uh, as large systems with sophisticated controllers for studios, but also with, you know, manual controls like this one. This is part of a small kit we're making. It's called a reporter kit. Um, it has an onboard dimmer. It comes with stands. It comes with two of those. So, you know, correspondents that often fly out to Beirut and get back to the news station on Skype, it normally looks pretty bad. So, so how we can help these guys is they, they bring this small case. It's all in there with PSU and Walt adapts and it even runs off VLOG batteries or DV batteries. It only consumes 10 watt per tube and it's yielding more than a thousand lumens per tube. Wow. So you put wow. these on, on either side of the monitor and you have the dimmers on the back so you can do a little more from the right than from the left or the incoming light from the window or whatever. So, and you have, you can even, even when you look at it, even when it's at full, it's not hurting your eyes so bad, so you can still read a small prompter, you can still write your read your computer screen. So in that respect, it's it's really a very much more becoming technology. And when is when is this package going to be available? Because I saw that out there and I was like, yeah. people are always <laughs> asking me, uh, not for yeah. just reporters, but people are asking me, what is an ideal kind of Skype setup, you know? just. Even if you weren't a reporter, you just want to do nice conference That's calls? That's exactly that. You know? I mean, we, we have been in contact, you know, with large medical companies and stuff. They have 800 people going out on Skype. This is really a beautiful light for that. You, see, you simply look better. Yeah. So when yeah. is it going to be available and how much? This is going to ship early June, and the complete kit is going to sell at 699 699 Now, yeah. let me ask you this, because I like that you've got a whole okay. case for it, and it's going to ship with everything in it, but I'm yeah. going to be so lazy. I'm not going to put it yeah. in my case. I'm going to take that thing and shove it in my backpack. Is it going to yeah. is it going to make it? 
it's going to make it for sure. I mean, these are very rocketized. I mean, you can even use those as drumsticks if you want to. Oh my God. I mean, wow. they're not going to break up. <laughs> So this is, it's going to ship in three different color temperatures because it's fixed in there, so it's not a color tweaking on accurate machine. This is fixed, so you buy it in 3.2, 4,300 Kelvin or 5,600 Kelvin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, does it have a standard quarter-inch mount on yep. it? Is that what it's got? Yes, it does. So yeah, if we yeah. wanted to, instead of using the little uh, stand, we yeah. could use some kind of a clamp you and can use have a clamp. Horizontal yeah. We even have magnetic sliders that you can mount onto there and just use a steel clamp for your laptop and cling. There you go. So now one other thing that I saw when I was over at your booth, you uh -huh. said that this comes in one foot to four foot yeah. lengths. Yes. And did I not see you taking multiple units and kind of stacking them together in, yes. a, in an array? How does that yes. work? We we have arrays. We're in the process of making a large variety of uh, reflector housings for tubes, so for studio use and also for, for stand use. Um, I mean, it's just so powerful. And, and when we add a reflector to like a 70 degree beam spread, it's also a long throw unit, so it really works well. Uh, mostly also for all the uh, smaller TV studios that you built today, the low ceiling where you can have a single pipe, you don't have the height for a large Fresnel or a big tungsten light, so you can you can add those in there and, and have a full walk around a studio with maybe maybe you need 24 tubes to do a complete studio. It really works well. We did, and, and um, not much heat generation and no, power no, no. usage either. We didn't make a complete studio setup. That's the version of Financial Times in Denmark called Börsen. That's all prototype studio. And we made a complete setup with this in, in, in that studio, and it really works beautifully. Very nice. So. Um, when you mentioned throw, that it's got some good, uh, it's got good throw to it. I mean, how, how many feet can we get out and we expect to actually get benefit out of that if we're out, and in, in, in you're calling this a reporter, right? So yep. expectation is that you're either using, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, iPhone type of situations or we're using a DSLR or a GoPro. You know, yep. what, what kind of throw are we talking about with this? This is going to be good up to 10 feet. Okay. So, okay. I mean. Uh, Light me up with it. Hit the tree light shot's going to do it fine. Nice and bright. Well, I'd love to if this. Oh, if we had it plugged in, if Geo no. knew how to plug it in properly. Yeah, Ooh, that is bright. Yeah. And, and what about a smaller battery uh, solution? I mean, if, if I'm running that on, you know, a, a setup and say I've got a, a fig rig yeah. or I've got some kind of a small setup, how am I going to power that thing so I can use it on a? You can on a use a, setup? this. This demo, this onboard demo runs 12 volts or 14 volts, so you can use any DV battery that has that voltage. Uh, okay. Since it's only a 10 watt power draw per tube, if you have a 60 watt uh, DV battery, it's mm -hmm. going to run for three hours on full. Okay. Uh, so, wow. And, it's and, and, and of these are available now? No. no. Uh, June, right? June. June. First week of June, we're going to ship okay. those. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. okay, so where are people going to be able to pick them up? Uh, you have to get in touch with, here in the US, you have to get in touch with bbslighting.com. Okay. Uh, that's where you're going to find them. All right. All right. bbslighting.com. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank I you like for that. coming to show us the lighting, and thank you guys for sticking around for all of our coverage here. We've got a lot more coming at you, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.